Hi everyone, Monica Davis here to give you an update on the market report for the month of May. In this last quarter, we have seen a slight increase in the home prices, meaning that there is a lot of need from buyers to buy a home. So even though the interest rate is still high, there is short inventory and high demand. Just a few months ago, prices are starting to decline but fast forward in March, we have seen that buyers and sellers are again into a multiple offer situation. According to Fannie Mae reports values, in March we have minus 4.2% decline and now in April only minus 1.2%, meaning that this inventory is still low and buyers are still doing whatever it takes to obtain home ownership. Although we are seeing this change in the market, foreclosures are starting to show into the market as well. If we see in the quarter one, we start to experience that there are a lot of foreclosure filings during the first quarter of 2023. A total of 65,000 homes in the U.S. has filed for foreclosure in quarter one. Nationwide, 1,400 homes in quarter one has filed for foreclosure. Lenders has repossessed around 12,000 homes in quarter one within the U.S. There is no reason to panic, at least not yet. According to experts, a mild recession is starting to come out by the end of this year, so be ready and save your money. What is a recession? According to the National Bureau of Economic Research, a recession is defined as a significant decline in economic activity spread across the economy lasted more than a few months. So how is the housing going to be impacted by the recession? During a traditional recession, the Federal Reserve usually lowers the interest and this creates an incentive for people to spend money and stimulate the economy. It also typically leads to more affordable mortgage rates, which leads to more opportunities to the home buyer. What are the pros and cons to buy during a recession? The pros are there is less competition and more opportunities. During the recession, you are going to have more opportunities and buying power, meaning great negotiations with the seller. During the recession, the lenders tend to lower the interest rate, giving you great opportunities. So continue to stay, watch, wait, and save your money for the opportunity to come. Let's talk about the cons. To protect the business during the recession, lenders tend to be more strict with buyers that are applying for a home, especially with the credit scores, savings, and stability in work. Another con is the fewer inventory available. Since sellers cannot sell their home at the right time and for the right price, they give up in their dream and take the properties out of the market. Economy uncertainty. Usually during the recession, many tend to lose their jobs. They cannot afford to pay their homes, bringing properties into foreclosure and uh, just leading them to just pay the necessities to live a daily life. Now that we have seen the pros and cons, let's see the big picture about the sellers who own a property at this time. Most of them have equity and equity is power. Even though we jump into a recession, some of you that have owned a home and have kept it for a long period of time, you are still in a good position. You have equity and that equity is power. If you're planning to move, if you're planning to sell, it's a great opportunity to take advantage during the recession to find the dream of your home and pay less for that home. As we continue to see a fluctuation in the market, now is the time that you as a seller, if you own a property and have equity, have the power to sell your property, get the cash back, and move to a better opportunity. There are plenty, plenty of opportunities out there, even during the recession or not recession. The most important is that you always make the right move to buy your home or sell your home, and we are here for you. 
Thank you so much for watching our market report for the month of May and we look forward to serve you and inform you in the upcoming month. It doesn't matter if there is a recession coming up or if the market of today, we are always here for you. Thank you for your trust.